One of the things I've learned as a Christian is that you don't need to always have the answers. Like, you can't fix people. Like, I think Christians sometimes, if someone's going through a struggle, we just, like, we kind of try to, to fix their problem for them. But most people, uh, although you can give a Bible verse and, and pray for someone, and, and those things are great. And I'm not saying those things are, are bad, but sometimes we have to discern when people just need to be listened to. And they're, they've been given answers their whole life. But sometimes what a true friend will do is actually just listen and just suffer and carry that burden with them and say, hey, I don't have the answers. Uh, I can't put a Bible verse. Sometimes we call it like a Bible verse band-aid. So we just say a verse and expect that band-aid, um, that Bible verse to just heal a wound. But sometimes, and God's word is living and active and powerful and it can, God can use one verse to change someone's life. But we have to be discerning where there's times where it's not always time to give the answer. Jesus often didn't give the answer. When he was questioned, he responded back with a question so that he could get more information. Uh, and there was times where he didn't speak. When he went to the cross, it says he was a lamb that was led to the slaughter and he was silent. Uh, Job's friends, when Job was suffering, it says that they, they uh, stayed with him for a few days and sp said nothing. And they just sat with him in the suffering. And the first mistake, some commentators say, the first mistake Job's friends made was to open their mouth. Because once they opened their mouth, they started saying these crazy things about, about God that were untrue. But true friendship and brotherhood looks like just genuinely listening and caring sometimes and not always having the perfect answer. Um, because a lot of us who are going through suffering, we know the right answer. And we just need someone to genuinely empathize with us instead of try to fix us. Okay.